in this video i am going to solve the last question from chapter 12 rotation which is question number 23rd a flywheel with a diameter of 1.2 meter is rotating at an angular speed of 200 revolution per minute so you have a wheel flywheel and its diameter is given what's the diameter of the flywheel the diameter of the free wheel is diameter which is equal to 1.2 meter clear and from this diameter we can easily calculate the radius so if we need it we can just calculate okay so the diameter of the flywheel is 1.2 meter but better we can calculate the radius of now itself because later on i think in some some subdivisions i have we need the radius so therefore radius which is equal to the diameter over 2 which is 1.2 meter over 2 which is equal to 0 0.6 meter okay now and and also they mentioned its initial angular speed what is the initial angular speed the initial angular speed they mention here as 200 revolution per minute first question what is the angular speed of the flywheel in radian per second so it's just a conversion from revolution per minute to radian per second clear so the first question is very easy and we are going to convert this 200 revolution per minute to radian per second. Actually, this is minute, okay? So first question we are going to convert, we are going to convert this uh, revolution per minute to radian per second. So first question, convert. Revolution per minute to radian per second so what is the angular speed the angular speed omega naught omega naught which is equal to 200 revolution per minute so first i'm going to convert the revolution to radian so one revolution which is equal to 2 pi radian right and likewise in one minute how many seconds we have 60 seconds so by that i can cancel this minute with this minute i can cancel this revolution with the revolution now i have to multiply and divide the value uh, what we have right now so 200 200 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi over 60 i got the answer as 20.94 so the angular speed 200 revolution per minute which is exactly equal to 20.94 radian per second so this is the answer for the first question okay now we have to go to the second question what is given in the second question what is the linear speed of a point on the rim of the flywheel so they are asked you to calculate they told you to calculate the value of the angular speed angular speed is nothing but v right so we already studied the relation connecting the angular speed and the linear speed so what is the relation to find the linear speed to find the linear speed v so what is the relation between the linear speed and the angular speed we studied v which is equal to r omega this is the rule am i right but here we consider our initial angular speed as omega naught so i have to put omega naught so for that we need the radius luckily we already calculate the value of the radius here what is the radius here 0 0.6 meter and the angular speed in terms of radian per second uh, we got from the first part so what's the value 20.94 so we are going to con we are going to multiply this omega naught with radius so what's the radius which is 0 0.6 multiplied by our angular speed in the first part of the question is 20.94 so i have to calculate 0 0.6 multiplied by 20.94 uh, 
I got the answer as 12.56. 12.56, what's the unit? Meter per second. So this is the answer for the second question. Clear? Now we have to move to the third question. So what is given in the third question? What constant acceleration? You have to give the answer in terms of revolution per minute square. So they clearly mentioned in the question. So what constant acceleration? So you are going to give the constant angular acceleration alpha value in a revolution per minute square. They need the answer in terms of revolution per minute square. So what constant angular acceleration will increase the wheel's angular speed to 1000 revolution per minute in 60 seconds? Clear? So initially the angular speed is 200. Now how much you increase the speed? So from 200 to 1000 revolution per minute you increase in one second. So in uh, six, one minute, not one second, one minute. So we have to write what is given. So better I can make something here to find the acceleration. Third part, to find angular acceleration. What is our final acceleration? How much you increase? 1000 revolution per minute. And how much time you take? 60 seconds. So 60 seconds, which is exactly equal to 60 seconds. In this 60 seconds, you increase the angular speed. What is our initial angular speed? The initial angular speed omega naught we got as 200 revolution from 200 revolution to thousand revolution per minute you took how much time only six and here we have everything in terms of minute and also they mentioned the question you have to find this angular acceleration in terms of revolution per minute square you have to find so they clearly mentioned in the question you have to get the answer of this angular acceleration in terms of revolution per minute square so i have to convert the time in terms of minute am i right so 60 second which is exactly equal to one minute it's very easy, am I right? So now I'm going to use the equation, what we studied, am I right? The first equations of motion with constant angular acceleration. What is the first equation? Omega final, which is equal to omega initial plus alpha multiplied by T. We are going to find the value of this alpha. So you have to rearrange this equation. I'm going to keep this alpha T here. I'm going to move this omega to the left hand side. By that, the equation becomes alpha t, which is equal to omega final minus omega initial. Therefore, t, therefore alpha, because we are going to find the alpha, right? Therefore, alpha, which is equal to omega final minus omega initial over t. Now, I am going to substitute the value here. So, what is our final omega, which is 1000, am I right? So, 1000 revolution per minute minus 200 revolution per minute over the time is one minute right so 1000 revolution per minute minus 200 revolution per minute which is exactly 800 revolution which is divided by one minute the answer of this alpha angular acceleration which is equal to 800 revolution per minute square uh, here you have one minute and the denominator also you have one minute and it will come to the denominator by that you have to multiply so the answer for the for this question which question the third question is 800 revolution per minute square clear okay now we have to answer the fourth question go back to the question so what is given in the fourth question how many revolutions does the wheel make during the 60 second because you see initially you have the angular speed 200 revolution per minute and after that you increase to 1000 revolution per minute which is taken exactly in 60 seconds so what they ask during this 60 second how much revolution this wheel does so we are going to find the value of the theta so for that i am going to use the second equation for getting the value of theta clear so i have to write the value of theta here
to find theta 1 or theta value I can write theta here is a revolution so I am going to use that equation what is that equation delta theta which is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square now this theta delta theta is nothing but theta minus theta naught which is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square and here the initial theta is zero because initially it start from rest am i right or not so that means this theta naught is zero so better you can take the value of delta theta is as it is or if you want to get the answer only for theta you can just move this minus theta naught to the right hand side by that it becomes plus theta naught so therefore theta which is equal to theta naught plus omega naught t plus half alpha t square so theta we are going to find because the initial theta is zero right so therefore theta which is equal to theta plus and what is our initial angular speed which is 200 revolution per minute and the time which is exactly for 60 second which is one minute plus half alpha what is the value of alpha 800 revolution per minute square right so 800 800 revolution per minute square multiplied by t square so that means one minute square right so by that the zero has no meaning so i'm going to leave that zero and this <coughs> 200 revolution per minute multiply by one minute plus half 800 everything is multiplication okay so 800 revolution per minute square multiply by one square minute square right because one square is one but minute square so now i can cancel this minute with this minute and i can cancel minute square with this minute square so by that what will be the final answer 200 plus half of 800 so what is the half of 800 the half of 800 you can cancel this as 400 right so what's the answer 200 plus 400 600 revolution so the answer for the fourth question is during this 60 seconds time interval it completes 600 revolutions clear so this is the answer for the last question the most important thing please keep all the equations the equation of motion angular rotational motion with constant angular acceleration that equations actually the first three equations are very very important but actually we have five equations am i right so please keep all this equation in your mind then only you can solve this type of question so this is the answer for the last part that's it thank you